And welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are here in Waltham, Massachusetts at one of our most recent kitchen renovations. Before I get started and give you guys a tour, please make sure to check out some of our previous videos. We do high-end kitchen cabinetry here in Boston, Massachusetts, and we tend to film almost all of our kitchen renovations that we do. So please be sure to check out some of those videos. It gives you some great ideas and gives you a sneak peek on what we do every day. So before I uh, get started on this, we did this project uh, post-COVID. So these clients actually signed off on the cabinetry back in December of 2019, and we were supposed to begin demolition in April. We all know what happened in April of 2020. I don't think I need to reminisce about it. So we just installed this kitchen in the beginning, I would say early fall of 2020, and we're just getting here now to do a filming. And we walked in the door, and we hadn't seen it uh, since the countertops had gone in and the clients had the opportunity to decorate and we just walked in the space. It was just so light and bright and beautiful. I'm really excited to give you guys a tour of this space. So let's get started. The clients came to us and wanted to take their old kitchen and modernize it. So one, we had a few requirements. We had to fit in. We also wanted to add wall that separates the kitchen from the bathroom area and we also wanted to add in an area for coat storage and they had a Dyson vacuum cleaner that they also wanted a charging station for in this kitchen so first I'm going to bring you guys to this wall so this wall we added instead of just adding a wall we decided to give it a, give it a little bit of depth so what we did was make it uh, deep enough to accommodate for our reduced depth cabinets so these cabinets are about 13 inches deep and they wanted this area to be a place where they come in, they can put their keys down, uh, obviously they have their little coffee area right here, and they also wanted an area to charge all their cell phones and iPads. They're a family of five, so they definitely need some good charging areas for all of our electronics that we have now. So what we did was added in a charging station here, and you can see we have their iPads and uh, iPhones, and then obviously just their keys, nicely tucked away. And then on the other side, we decided not to do the interior drawer and just do simple shelf we also did handleless on all of the kitchen cabinetry. So we did what we call our channel and we did the channel with an LED profile. So there is a profile that's actually integrated to the top of this channel that illuminates light and the light can go warm to cold depending on your mood. One question that I get asked very often from my clients is can I mix appliances? The answer is yes. You just have to be conscious of the stainless steel finish on it. So in this kitchen, they did mix appliances. We have a Samsung double wall oven paired with a Fisher & Paykel 36 inch French door refrigerator. And as you can see, they're directly side by side. And from the eye, you can't tell that they're a different appliance brand, yet it seamlessly works together. They also did a Samsung cooktop with a Fisher & Paykel hood, which I will show you next. And we also did a very interesting feature in this kitchen, which we called the bump, which I'm gonna bring you over to right now and give you a sneak peek. One design element that the clients wanted to bring into this kitchen was something we nicknamed, we called it the bump. And so this is the bump. It is a four inch high, four inch deep surface that is along the back side behind the cooktop. They wanted this for a couple of reasons. They wanted it to be able to place their olive oil, uh, salt and pepper that's kind of out of the way. They also wanted to use it for just a little more decoration. And another thing we wanted to do was to actually put the wall outlets in into the bump so that they weren't going along the backsplash. And I think overall it came out really cool. It's kind of a 
really neat design element that uh, we showcased in our in our visual drawings and when to see it in real life it really does add a nice architectural feature to the kitchen another thing that we did when we wanted to add this bump was we looked at our overall working distance so what do I mean by that typically our counters are 24 inches deep when we added the bump, I knew right away we were gonna lose about four inches of space. So we took another look at the site measure and realized we can utilize what we call our full depth cabinets. So not only full depth, but extended depth cabinets. That was the key, I apologize, extended depth. So when we did the extended depth cabinets, they didn't lose any, any countertop space, meaning they had the full 24 inches for prep, for work. They're a large family. We wanted to make sure that they had this. I think it came out really cool and I was excited to show you guys this design element. Another design element that I wanted to point out is what we did on their Le Mans door. So definitely check out our previous videos. The Le Mans cabinet, first I'll show, show you guys what it is. It's a great corner solution. It's sometimes also known as the peanut because it's shaped like a peanut. But what it is, is it swivels out and then swivels back in. And most times we will do what we call one single door front. So you can see here we just have one panel with no channel running through. The client wanted the channel to be consistent all the way through. So we'll get a close up view for you, but I often have clients ask me, what does the false channel look like? Here's our opportunity. We're gonna show you exactly what it looks like. So you can see here, this is a real channel. We have what's called a little stopper on the end. And then this is the false channel that continues all the way through and behind the door you'll see that we just have a metal panel that puts it together so visually from the front it looks like one continuous line I'm gonna bring you over to what I call the cleanup side of the kitchen, meaning we have the trash, the sink, and the dishwasher. The trash we have on our favorite, our server drive. It's an electric opening system, so you can use your hand. Uh, let's say your hands are full, great solution. You can use your knee, and it's an electric opening system that as soon as you push in that door, it releases right back out to you. And as always, still soft closing. We have our simple under counter sink storage with towel bar and we did at the end our Mila dishwasher with custom panel. So it was really important to integrate an island into the space and the size and function of it was also equally important. So the island is used for all storage. We also had a, another design request from the clients, I would say more of a functionality request, is she didn't want her potatoes and onions displayed on the counter. So we have what we call a potato drawer. It's located in the base of this cabinet and you can see we have four different bins and they're all used for different items. So these are her potatoes in this one, over here we have our onions and everything's very neatly tucked away out of sight out of mind and you just take it when you need it she also stuck her cutting boards there so super efficient I love how they organize this kitchen definitely take notes up here we have another row of storage where all their plates are next to that another row and this one includes all their everyday cutlery uh, that they would use release to another row of storage below that. And then lastly, we have the same thing, another row of storage with a hidden cutlery drawer. A lot of the times people think that this cutlery drawer has to come out with the drawer. You can utilize it both ways. So as you can see, when I just pulled this drawer out, the cutlery did not come out. This is a mechanism that you can turn on or turn off so that it will always come out or you could also make it so that you always have to manually pull the door open. So just a little bit of information for you guys when you start to plan your own kitchen. I also wanted to show you another design feature that we added in to the space. So we wanted to have seating on the island, but we knew the island could only kind of max out at a certain size because we need to have adequate clearances around the space. So a design idea we came up with was to do what we called a knee wall. And this is it here. It's about, I would say the cabinets are about six to seven inches deep. We placed a countertop on top. We also continued the, the LED channel. And this is just an area when they have guests over, they have a beautiful patio, that guests can kind of come over, lean, kneel, um, rest their glasses on, so they're not in the way of the cooking area or the prep area. The last area of the kitchen that I will show you is what we use for coat storage as well as most important, the Dyson vacuum cleaner storage. So come on over and we'll take a look. Moving along. 
I'm gonna show you what is a typical stock cabinet for us. It is a coat closet storage cabinet. So we have one here and we did one directly next to it, the open French door style, so that they're easily accessible. As you can see, the clients definitely utilize it for all their coats and jackets. We are in New England, so we definitely go through all four seasons here, and they wanted a place that it's neatly tucked away out of sight. And next to that, we have the Dyson cabinet. So let me tell you a little bit about the Dyson cabinet. The Dyson cabinet was a must have, and we looked at the Dyson dimensions and thought logically, how can we put this in the space without seeing it on the wall? Uh, if anyone's familiar, there's a Dyson that you can actually charge on the wall and it hangs on the wall and you see it and it's not very attractive. So originally we designed it so that the Dyson would hang inside this cabinet and it would take the full length. I got here today and the client said to me, we changed the Dyson cabinet. I said, okay, what's going on? And he said, you know, we thought, why don't we just put the charging station on one of the shelves and then utilize all the rest of the area for storage. So it actually worked out perfect. We'll give you a close up view of this uh, to see the inside. But if you need a Dyson storage cabinet, great idea, great versatility and really accessible because of course you need a vacuum in the kitchen. One last thing I wanted to tell you guys about was who we partnered up to do all the general contracting work for this stunning kitchen renovation. A big shout out to Sword and Construction. He did a phenomenal job. We did a bigger window, we moved doors, we changed bathroom locations, we changed flooring. Uh, it really was a full home renovation and when I came in today, Soren, bravo. The finish work is impeccable, the detail is impeccable and I just hope that everyone on camera can really see that. I guess that wraps us up for this kitchen tour. Thank you so much to my clients. They were an absolute pleasure to work with. Uh, sometimes some kitchens hold a very special place in your heart and this one holds a very special place in my heart. It was uh, really a fun, fun process to work with them. So as always, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.